Hey guys, it's SSR again, and I was requested by a wizard walks by to build a defender, an empathy psychic defender, with psionic protection and knockback protection. So uh, let's pick their powers, and I'll slot up everything afterwards, and we'll talk about which enhancements we'll be putting on, okay? So I'm going to start out by picking healing aura. Mental blast is going to be an auto attack that you have no choice on for a defender. Next, I'm going to go with Heal Other. We're going to skip Absorb and Subdue. Go for Psionic Lance. That's your bread and butter attack. You want that one. That one, it's it's your snipe. It does a crap load of damage. You want that. All right, level six, I'm going to take Combat Jumping. All right, level six, eight. Sorry, level eight, we'll take Clear Mind. After clear mind, we're going to take hasten to increase some recharge for us. Faster heals, faster attacks. Then you want fortitude, buff other people. Next we'll go super speed. You want your travel power. Let's go with psychic scream. It's an okay cone. It's not amazing, but it's something. Recovery aura. Obviously you want to have that. Telekinetic blast. That's going to be one of your good attacks you're going to need one second cast time and let's start with the leadership powers now for maneuvers uh, and then we'll go with tactics at level 24 regeneration or you want that one after regeneration let's start working on the fighting pool we want to have as much resistance as we can for a defender we want to stay alive you know tough adrenaline boost get that one for buffing other people and then we can start working on the psionic mastery and take dominate it's one of it's an awesome power we're gonna proc the heck out of that one and let's make sure we take psychic psychic whale and after that mind over body we want that one for the resistances and we get that psionic protection that a wizard walks by requested after mind over body we're gonna go for weave and you know I'm not a big fan of Resurrect, but we can take it just to help us out. You know, it's Empathy. You have to take Resurrect with Empathy. And finally, we're going to go with Vengeance. Combine Vengeance with Re Resurrection and their, you know, golden combination. Click Vengeance, click Resurrection. It's good for everyone. Alright. So, I'd like to slot the basic things first. Uh, first, I'm going to put three slots on Health, four slots on Stamina. We're going to put in the procs, the usual miracle, the numinas, and the panacea. Those will go off constantly if you keep them on an auto power like heal. Or health, I should say. Stamina. We're going to slot with three performance shifters for the endurance. I know most people like to just slot one, but this right here gives you HP, some movement speed, and it's better for your endurance if you look at the recovery rate 42 percent that's awesome and the fourth slot i like to put in the power transfer for that heal extra healing all right we're going to try to chase as much hp as possible on this build you want the hp as much as you can get on a the defender they're pretty low you want to increase that get it to about 1600 if possible okay all right we're going to start by slotting Healing Aura. Six slot that. And go ahead and put Preventative Medicine on all of them. Now if you're wondering how I'm doing this, the wheel on the mouse right there, if you click it on each one, it'll put in the next enhancement on that set. All right. Mental Blast, we're going to five slot. It's going to be one of those mule type powers. Healing Aura, five slot. I'm going to put Panaceas. We're going to go for all of the panaceas that we can slot in. You can't put the sixth one in because it's the proc and you can only slot one one of those per set or per AT or character or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Psionic Lance, we're going to do five slots. I'm going to put the Defender's Bastion, Accuracy Damage, and the Accuracy Endurance. Alright, so you put those two there. What we're chasing with that is the HP 3% bonus. It's pretty nice. You want that. And we're going to put some procs on the rest of it. So let's put the 
toxic damage toxic from um, sting of the manticore i should say toxic damage from the sting of the manticore and then we'll put the gladiator's javelin toxic damage and finally the apocalypse all right combat jumping i'm gonna put three slots on there we'll put luck of the gamblers luck of the gamblers is something that i like to slot in on all the defensive powers first because you don't have that many defensive powers on this defender so let's try to put it on as many as we can so we have one on combat jumping we'll put one on maneuvers vengeance and finally weave right here sorry about that finally weave all right and i know you probably are thinking why don't i put one on fortitude well fortitude we're actually going to six slot and put in six slots of the reactive defenses the set bonuses on that is awesome you want those okay it's eight percent recharge endurance discount some resistance hp and smashing lethal resistance so take it it's good clear mind i'm just going to put a endurance reduction on it hasten two slots is my recommendation uh plus five on the recharge and you can copy it by once again using the wheel on the mouse clicking it all right and if you want to know how you plus the enhancement just press the plus button as you go on top of your mouse right here press it five times and then click it that puts it on there all right for super speed i'm going to put the knockback protection from blessings of the zephyr psychic scream i'm going to five slot it's going to be another mule I'll explain in a little bit recovery aura only three slots you know it's not extremely needed we're gonna go for anything that has recharge on performance shifter we want the hp bonuses so again anything that has recharge on it chase for that telekinetic blast i'm gonna six slot we're going to put apocalypse because we want to get those purple set bonuses that right there 10 percent recharge damage hp and regeneration and finally as the last one i'm going to put in the a little bit of tiny bit of crowd control just for whoever you attack is some knockback to knock down chance and damage from overwhelming force uh, maneuvers i'm going to put three extra slots on there and i'll explain what those three slots will be regeneration aura just two slots and we'll put some recharge plus five boxing we'll leave alone tough we'll put four slots on there three of them are going to be unbreakable guards resistance resistance endurance and finally the proc and then for the last one i like to put in the steadfast the defense and resistance all right adrenaline boost you can put four slots on there and what i prefer to do is the numinos give you the extra heal bonus so go after anything with recharge and the final one can be a heal it's up to you which one you want but remember don't put the proc in there because it won't go off as well if you don't put it on something that's automatic like hell all right dominate this is the important one we're gonna six slot this power and we're gonna put a crap load of procs on that one we're gonna start with unbreakable guards and put all the psychic ones on there and also the lethal gladiator's net and finally we'll do the gladiator's toxic okay and for this one we're going to use a nucleolus at plus three you can put a regular 50 the plus three is just overkill honestly if you can get a plus three feel free to put it on there all right for psychic whale i'm going to put five slots of armageddon's now for this i would highly suggest putting a recharge anything with recharge on it it's not going to affect the proc rate if you put recharge on psychic whale because the recharge on psychic whale is so long it won't even matter let me turn haste on that should drop it a good amount right there 43 and you can even plus these as much as you want i always suggest plusing the purples never attune remember that always plus okay 
unless you're uh, using it on pro attack that you're gonna proc out a lot. You don't want to plus any recharge on it. Okay, mind over body. Put in five slots, and we're gonna put Gladiator's armor on there because there's some good set bonuses that we want. Try to chase anything with resistance on it. Right. Don't take the recharge endurance one. We don't need that one. Take everything else on there. All right. For weave, we're gonna put another three slots on weave, and that should be everything. Put a recharge on your resurrection. Okay. For tactics, go ahead and put a cytoskeleton. You can plus it. Make it plus three. Fifty-three. Uh, it's really not needed once again. Let me make sure I turn all these powers on. We want to see what our endurance costs and everything's going to be. Okay. Don't turn on vengeance. You really don't want that on because it only happens when people are dead. Now we're going to talk about these powers that we're slotting up. Let me start with maneuvers. Um, for the maneuvers, I'm going to actually slot up the defensive powers on there. And it's going to be shield walls. We want to use three shield walls because it gives you a nice uh, bonus, set bonus. We're going to go with defense and the proc right there. That right there will give you regeneration and 2.25% HP. And you want that. Look at how much your HP is at already. That's awesome. And for weave, we're going to do defense endurance, defense endurance recharge, and finally the defense. Okay. That gives you another good amount of HP. For Mental Blast, how we used the Superior Defender's Bastion, we're going to put two of them on here as well. It's going to be the... First, I'm going to pick the Damage Recharge. And let's go with another Damage Endurance Recharge. Why not? Okay. And for Psychic Whale, I'm going to use the other two, which I'll use the Proc, PBAOE Heal. And the accuracy damage. Well, no, not the accuracy damage. I'm sorry. It's going to be the four set accuracy damage endurance recharge. Okay. Mental blast for these three. I'm going to use the other ATO set. We're going to put the vigilant assault on there, but I'm going to put some accuracy. Well, I'll put the damage recharge. And here we go those three and finally the other three we're gonna put on psychic screen make sure you get the procs on there now I know the procs aren't slotted on a great power but it's gonna go off pr pretty often on psychic screen so let's try it after slotting mental blast and psychic screen we're gonna go ahead and put the two enhancements on combat jumping first I'm gonna put a kismat and finally, a knockback protection from Blessings of the Zephyr. With that, we should be at around 11 or 12. Let's check our status. And there it is. Knockback is at 11, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. So anything 10 and above is perfect for PvE. If you want PvP, you better go up higher. <laughs> All right. So... Our endurance is pretty good. It's 1.67 even with all these powers on. Not bad at all. If I use Recovery Aura, you know, your endurance is going to be up even better. Okay, your resistance, 75%. Perfect. Defense, it's not amazing, but it'll keep you alive because of all the resistance. And plus you can click Heal to Healing Aura to keep yourself alive. And that's pretty good. I, the Psionic Resistance isn't amazing, but it's high enough for what you'll be fighting anyways. Just put in the extra enhancements here and there. All right. Now I'm going to pick the Alkalades. I like to see what the build is like once you have all your Alkalades slotted in. Freedom Flanks, Portal Jockey, Task Force, and Atlas Medallion. And there you go. We're almost at HP cap, which is 1606. 1598, that's awesome. One amplifier, if you buy it from the pay to win, will put you way over a cap. And you'll have protection for any kind of mez or anything like that. Okay. So let me, sometimes mids likes to uh, remove the powers at the bottom. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and pick the incarnate powers. 
For the alpha, I actually am going to go with vigor for this one for some more accuracy on my powers. Accuracy and endurance reduction. Why not? You know, increase it a little bit better. Destiny. Now, destiny is up to you. If you're worried about your defenses, you could definitely go for barrier and uh, increase that a lot. But I'm not really worried about my defenses too much. I usually always go with incandescence radial. All right, for judgment, Pyronic or Ion. I always go Ion core. Hybrid, you can either go support core or assault radial. For this build, I went assault radial, but definitely support core or support radial, I should say. It's probably one you could go with because that'll increase your defenses and also reduce your endurance cost as well. So for now, I'm gonna go assault radial. Interface. Your two options always are degenerative and reactive. You can pick the other ones, but it's honestly not worth it. Degener degenerative, <laughs> degenerative radial or reactive radial. Degenerative radial will give you the toxic damage, but most things in the game actually have a high resistance to toxic. So I would go for reactive radial because it's fire damage. All right, and it reduces re resistance. And finally, you want the banished pantheon core all right core side because the core pet does a ridiculous amount of damage and resistance debuff okay looks like everything slotted our recharge is pretty good we have 10 percent coming from one two three four four locations which is not bad at all you know if we could fit another power in there it'd be great but we also have eight percent recharge coming from these two powers so the reactive and the preventative medicine so we're good all right let's go on live and or should i say beta and test this out all right guys we're back and there you have it everything slotted up exactly how the build is exactly how i have it on mids everything's there okay so let's check our stats our stats should be about the same it's a little bit higher on mids, but we're pretty much the same. HP, all there. Endurance, 33, 3.44. And there you go, yeah. Everything's pretty much the same. All right. Now that everything's here, let's go test it out inside the mission. All right, guys. So I have two mobs here. I'm going to see how well we can handle this. So starting off, I would make sure to click your regenerative regeneration aura and also your recovery aura. Go in, activate psychic whale, and then make sure you use your proc out attacks like dominate, psionic lance, and everything should be good from there. Okay, move around a lot. You don't want to stay too close in melee area. The closer you stay to melee, the worse it gets. Keep your distance. The melee is just going to destroy you, so... You're on a defender, so don't expect to kill everything super fast. Keep your distance. Try to take out the bosses as quickly as you can. When your recharge is back on Psychic Whale, activate it. Heal, use your heals. Now I'm trying not to use the incarnate stuff to show you that you don't really need to use it. Because I'm sure if I turn those on, it would make things a lot easier. Now remember, you're on a defender, so if you're going to be playing on teams, I wouldn't even worry too much about fighting. Uh, of course, your damage is going to be pretty decent, so I wouldn't even not help out. You definitely could help anybody out on the team. Now this pretty much will protect you if you if it happens that the team gets killed, you'll be able to keep yourself alive and try to protect everybody. Just keep your distance. Keep your attacks going. And you should be fine, you know? Don't try to go in melee because you are not a tank. But once you do have like everything slowed down. 
you're, there's no problem surviving these mobs. So there you go. It's pretty good. I mean, you're able to take on two mobs at plus four times eight. Now, I have bosses turned off because you, you're not going to be able to take bosses on a defender by yourself. It's just, it's too hard. But definitely on a team, you're going to have no problem. But other than that, there you go. Pretty good. All right, let's go try to find the elite boss now. We're over here uh, near Inferno. I'm going to use an attack to pull him away because I don't want the portals to pop anything. Now, mind you, I cleared this room a little bit. Just to show you guys, uh, earlier I tested this out and I fought the mobs that were around him at the same time, but I had to use a little bit of some inspirations to keep me my defense a little bit higher. So you're fighting an elite boss, so you shouldn't expect too much. Now I would definitely, once again, activate regeneration aura and also try to keep your distance. Remember, you don't want him to get in melee range. One of his melee attacks will deal a crap load of damage. Try to heal yourself as much as possible. Keep those attacks going. Remember, dominate is going to be like your bread and butter for everything, so I'd keep that going. And I'll stand near him just so you can see how much damage he'll do to you. There you go, 300. It's pretty decent. But his attacks also lower defense, so you don't want to stay too close to him. You'll be able to survive him, no problem. There you go. That's awesome. Able to take on Inferno, no problem. Alright guys, a wizard walks by. I hope you like the build. Please let me know what you guys think. Comment down below and hit that like and subscribe button for me, alright? Uh, tell me what you guys would like to see next and I'll definitely try to work on it as soon as I can. I appreciate all of you watching and thanks a lot. See you next time.